Hello and welcome members joining a machine to the domain practice labs and here in this video we are going to show you how you can join a client machine to the domain and in the previous video you have watched that we showed how to create the active directory how to create a domain how to promote your server as a domain controller and we used the JSS name titles throughout that video but here the difference you're gonna find if you see the manual also that we are going to join the practice labs domain because we already discuss and show you how you can create the active directory because the practice labs environment is not permanent once you complete your lab it will wipe out so in that case the solution we suggest for you guys is to you can create active directory in one project and if you want to learn how to join the Active Directory, you can join the Practice Lab, the already created, the pre-created Active Directory, the pre-created domain within the Practice Lab environment. So that will help you to easily learn all the joining process of the client machine to the domain. Because if you start again and if you create the domain controller and if you promote your server to the domain controller, so it will definitely take a lot of time and you get frustrated all the time because when you need to create a domain controller and you you go again and again with the same basic steps so here in that case when you use the practice lab active directory you can easily join and there's no need to create your own active directory and in the next coming lab we're going to use the client machine that has already joined the practice lab active directory and which is what the plab win 10 because here you can see we are using the PLAB Win 101, the standalone client machine, which is a part of the Practice Lab network, but it is still not the member of the Practice Lab Active Directory. So in the coming task, we're going to use the machine PLAB Win 10, which is the Practice Lab Active Directory member machine. So in that case, we're not going to repeat the domain controller lab again or the joining the domain controller lab again. So we're going to use the, the exact machine, the same machine that has already joined. So here you can see the manual. We provided you all the steps and the screenshot along with the steps. So you can easily watch and easily perform accordingly that has been provided and shown in the screenshots. So let's move to the practice labs environment. So here we already open this practice labs 2019 sandbox and let's hide this content viewer and have the full screen here now here i turn on two machines that i also mentioned in the document that we're going to use two machines the plab dc01 and the plab 101 why because the plab dc01 is a domain controller this is the default domain controller of the practice lab environment and the plab 101 is a standalone client machine in contrast, the PLAB Win 10 is what it is, the domain join client machine. So here you don't need to join domain again. You will find that this machine is already a member of this domain. So here we have this PLAB 101 and it's just like the same machine that hasn't joined the domain. And it's totally going to be a learning part for you that how you can use a fresh machine, the machine that is developed from scratch and how you can make that machine a part of the domain controller of or, or the domain environment so here the basic steps that you should follow and you should remember throughout this process is to check the network settings and let me start from this, that you must be connected to the same network where this whole domain controller is connected and the the first thing that you need to check you need to verify before joining the domain is to right click to the start charm and go to the system and here on the system because what happens that most of the time that when you promote when you create another new machine or you install the Windows 10 you know so what happens that it generates a default computer name so what's the good practice is to change the name and make it more simpler and easier to type and remember so let's check the pc name and if you expand this pc and then right click to the pc and go to the properties so it's going to open this system info window 
and here you can see the computer name is what p11 10 101 it's not 10 so here what's the case the name all the names that are mentioned on the left are the same name that is replicating on the machine so it's good to use you can go with those names but in contrast if you find the lengthy name the name that are making no sense and there if, if those names are harder to remember or type again and again so you can change the name first and then start your task so here the name is good and we can easily proceed in this project so after that once you verify the name go to the change settings and it is the same step that you need to take for changing your computer name so click to because here you have the option to rename this computer so, so, the, so the same option will be used to change the name of the machine or to join the domain so here you can click to the change button and here if you want to change the name so you can simply press the backspace and remove the previous name and type the new name as you want and then we're going to select the domain here but if you type the domain name here so it will start communicating to the domain machine but the thing is in practice lab environment you will find that it will not stop you before joining the domain let's say if i type here practice lab so let's click to the domain and type practice labs that's the domain name of our active directory of the domain so if you type practice labs.com and click ok so you can see that it is not communicating with the domain controller why you still have the same network you still have the default gateway configured on your machine but it is not communicating why because there is something missing and if you click to the details and scroll down so it will find that the DNS is not resolving your domain so in the practice lab environment I before creating the creating this video I changed the domain address but if you are applying if you're applicating those labs here so you don't need to type the DNS address manually you will find that it is already configure and mention but if you are working in some other directory some other environment let's say if you're creating your own VM network environment so there you must put and you must enter the correct and exact domain network address where this whole domain active directory is located you need to mention that IP address on the DNS section and let me show you where so let's scroll down and open the network adapter settings and how you can open it let's close it and let me show you from the beginning you can right click here on the network icon go to the network and internet settings click to the ethernet and if you're connected with the ethernet adapter so let's click here right click go to the properties select this ipv4 go to the properties and here you can see in the preferred and both alternate the DNS address is missing so when you want to join the domain controller it is start communicating with your domain controller through this DNS address so it needs to be because here you are typing what the alpha alphabetic words right it's it's a domain name it's not the binary or it's not the numbers right and you know the machine has a machine language the binary 10 so you need to provide what you need to provide a network address that must resolve this domain name and then it will easily start joining the domain controller so here we need to type what the dns and which is what the dns address should be the ip address of your domain controller so the ip address of our domain controller is 192.168.0.1 and in case of practice lab i knew it that the IP address of the domain controller is 192.168.0.1 and it is already there I remove and I delete this address from here to just explain this thing to you so if you are replicating those lab here on the practice labs you don't need to type this address you will find that this address is pre-configured 
in both P1110 or in P1101. But let's say if you're creating your own network in your VMware, you know, anywhere, or if you're working in any live environment, so you must know the domain controller IP address and that must be configured here in the preferred DNS or in the alternate DNS server. And then you can type it, dot it here in the alternate. And once you type and provide this DNS address here on the right place, then if you go back here on this menu and here if you click OK again and just initiate another new request to join the domain so it won't stop you and there you go it, is, it needs the permission the administration administrator credential and credentials to proceed to join the domain so here I'm gonna type the administrator and this must be the local administrator so you can easily type the local administrator credentials and there you go it says what welcome to the practice labs.com so this is the whole process and this these are the steps that you should take for joining the domain environment and the very basic and the necessary step is what just make sure that in the preferred DNS or in the alternate you must have what the network address of your domain controller so if this network address is missing from there you can join the domain controller you can join you can communicate to the domain controller. you can join the domain right so this would be the steps you need to take while joining your machine your client machine to the domain so there you go it is welcoming us and if you click OK and it will restart your machine and when it comes after restart it will be the part of the domain environment and let me show you if you go to your domain controller and click to the start if you want to verify that whether my machine successfully joined or is it the part of the domain so you can go to the server manager go to the tools and click to the active directory users and computers scroll to the left expand the practice labs this is the exact domain we have and then if you click to the computer so you will find your machine the plab 101 so it says what that the plab win 101 is a part of domain and as you can see the plab win 10 is already a part of the domain so in the next coming labs we're not going to join again and again we will continue from the plab win 10 because it is pre-joined machine to the domain controller so that's it for this project video Thanks for watching.